Hey, what's up? It's Mr. J with Sign the Fly. If you're a teacher of any age and you don't have an energy ball, you're really missing out. Stay tuned to find out why. Now this one and a half inch ball is so much more than just a typical ping pong ball. I've used it for two minute fillers in my classroom, maybe a 15 minute mini lesson, or even a 45 minute lecture on basic themes such as conductivity or electrical currents. Now, conductivity is a material's ability to conduct electricity. Electric current can flow easily through materials with high conductivity and very poorly through materials with low conductivity. A material such as water or metal have a very high conductivity, while rubber, on the other hand, has a very low conductivity. The moisture in your skin makes you a fantastic high conductivity material, which is perfect for this demonstration. Now inside the ball, there's a battery, light, siren, and wires connecting each metal electrode that you see on the outside. Because there isn't a complete path for the electrons to travel, we say that this is an open series circuit. Now a circuit can be in one of two positions. It could be open or it could be closed. A closed circuit has a complete path for the current to flow. An open circuit doesn't, which means that it's not functional. This is why the siren and the bell are not working right now. Now, I said that this was an open series circuit. Now there are two main kinds of circuits, series and parallel. In a series circuit, the same current flows through all of the components allowing each of them to function properly, while a parallel circuit has various wires that are all connected to various components that allow them all to function separately. As I stated before, this is an open series circuit. It's not functioning right now, but when it does, all of the components will work simultaneously. To make it function, simply place one finger on each electrode. The small electrons travel from one electrode through your finger to the other electrode, thus completing the circuit. When the circuit is complete, the light and the siren both will work. Now you could stop there, but why would you? My students get a kick out of forming various circuits that the current can flow through. Take a look. Now, as I stated before at the beginning of this video, regardless of the level of your students that you teach, you need this ball. It's only going to cost you a couple bucks, and it's only a couple of clicks away. So what excuse do you have? Head over right now to TeacherSource.com and purchase your very own energy ball from Educational Innovations. It's been Mr. J with Sci on the Fly, the place where science makes sense.